hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to create the task to run the cli command from the command palette and you can create your sfdx command in your own right so before that if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please hit the bell icon for more updates so let's get started without any further delay so now just I open my VS code here you can see this is the VS code editor right and uh, I already created one LWC project now you can see the structure of the LWC project right so this is the scratch or or based on the scratch or you can perform the SFDX command otherwise you cannot so here under the terminal how to check our SFDX command is working or not let's say I need to check my org list so if you want to check your org list so you cannot check directly with the help of without scratch org because command is will not be work on that cases right so if you need to check your org list so there is a no directly command here if you type something like sfdx colon org right so there is a no uh, command regarding the org list so if you need that commands as a manually or your own so you can create that because it's a very simple steps and I will show you one by one so please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so please watch this video until end and now here now you can see here I just open this editor here and now it's time to create our custom command so how to create the custom command let me show you so under the command palette if you want to open command palette in windows so control shift p this is the command palette and now you have to select different types of commands so how to select let me show you here so control shift p is a command palette and just you have to select task configure this one this first option so just click on this task configure task something like that so just click this one and it's asking different types of like options like npm install something like that right so don't worry about all the things so it's a predefined just you have to configure let's say create task json file so i need this file so let me highlight it this so it's easy to understand this one so i need this file like create task dot json file to create the task so here let's say again let me show you search here task configure task after that you have to select this option that is called create task.json file and just choose this option that is called ms build right so because this platform built in microsoft you know very well vs code is provided by microsoft that's why i'm choosing this ms build microsoft build because to execute the targeting platform so just select this option ms build and here by default you can see one snippets like task.json file so you will be see here this task.json file under here in the dot vs folder you just observe here and this is the file name here this is the file name here right so you have to create your own so how to create your own let me remove everything from here right so le uh, let me add this task and this task is a array you can see this array here right so I need to add some commands under this array so how to do that let me remove everything from here and if you want to check like org list so you cannot check the org list directly with the help of command palette so that's why I'm creating a new sfdx command for listed out your scratch org or any kind of org if you have in your uh, environment so here if you want to check so you can check with the help of sfdx command let's say sfdx force colon or colon org list like that so this is the command so it's taking some time so i have some shortcut to create and to show this org list immediately within a one year two seconds no need worry about every time you have to type this command like that so that's why i'm going to create this sfdx command here so please be focused and please uh, try to yourself because it's a very most important if you are salesforce developer or any kind of developer so now you can see salesforce list so i need this kind of things with the help of my command palette 
right so how to do that let me show you here so now text is an array type under this text I need to define one object and this object having different types of key value pair let's say label so under the label I need to add the label let's say sfdx org list so let me add that one sfdx colon org list something like that because I need that list here right so once you type this label after that you have to give comma because I need another key value pair because it's an object and here you can see the key that is called type and uh, the value is I will show you the value here that is called cell so it's a power cell okay so it's a cell command under the windows so that's why you can see this is a cell here right after that you have to choose like which kind of command you want to perform so I need the command here let's say command and after that you have to use your command as a sfdx like this so I need this command sfdx that's why I'm creating this object here so now label type and command this three parameters I need I need another one uh, based on the requirement let's say here I need some arguments so how to pass the argument let me show you here so under the arguments it's a array type under this array we have to define some arguments so arguments is our command so let's say force colon org colon list something like that so this is the argument of this sfdx command so once you've done it now you have to give one comma after that once you give this one you have to define your groups so under here like you have to define your group so which type of group you have so it's say like a build always choose as a build because I need to build this command that's why here the build and presentation so I need to be define the another key as a presentation like this and here you can see the focus clear panel reveal and echo something like that so I need only uh, this one that is called reveal and the another one is a panel so let me remove all the things here focus as well this one and this one okay so let me format it so it's easy to understand right so here you can see the reveal as always and panel is always shared because I need to share this command between you know like some uh, command palette so that's why always uh, reveal is always and panel is shared after that you have to give another things so I will show you the another things means like problem matcher so if you have any problem in your command so it's a kind of like array type and you can store on that one so let's say like problem matcher this one and it's a empty array type because I need to install something here okay so once you've done it now you have to do one thing here again you have to give the comma and under this comma I need to be add another command about the sfdx force like uh, org colon open because I need two commands first is a org list because open is already there you know very well in the command palette but for now I'm creating my own command so how to do that so here once you've done it now here you have to create another object so under this object you have to define these things again like just copy uh, this one let me just copy here to here and paste it here so once you've done these things like this so you have to change let's say sfdx open org like that right so I need to be capitalize this O and here cell command it should be the cell sfdx and you have to change like list to open because I need like sfdx colon force colon or colon open something like that right that's why so once you've done these things now you can see our task is ready to execute uh, this custom command in our vs code editor so how to execute let me show you so once you've done it it's a very simple step just focus on that and here you can see this kind of things right so I already developed this kind of things here in this file just you can focus each and every line if you need it 
so you can do that otherwise leave it as it is so now once you've done it now it's time to do what how to execute this command so that is the question so again you can see control shift p and under here you can see like run build task so you have to click on this run build task now you can see automatically two commands automatically comes here like sfdx open org sfdx org list so open org we already have right so you can create your own as well so this is the custom command in second one so just focus on this sfdx org list so once you click on this one it's execute our command automatically so now just focus on that and you will be see the output here now it's automatic uh, showing the org list here just focus on that right this one so now you can see the my org list so based on your need you can create your own command so this is the one thing you have to remember in your mind and uh, here if you need more than uh, two commands so you can use in this file that is called task.json file and you can make it your command easily so under here again i will show you here so you can click on this run task and now you can see the run task under the run task we have two commands right so sfdx org list or sfdx open org right so you can click on this one and now it's a automatic execute your command as well here in the last so here you can see some process is going on and after that you can see the org list so here you can see successfully run this one so here you can see control c b if you type this control c b means this is the shortcut to execute your own command custom command sfdx custom command so how to execute same like control c p like this one you can execute your command as well like control shift b and now you can see your custom command org list open and something like that again let me click this one now you can see org list is open here and then you will be see the org list one by one here so now you can see the org list so this is how to create your own sfdx command in visual studio code and it's easy to create and you can create any type of commands under this file and it's easy to execute your command within a second no need worry about every time you have to enter each and every word under the terminal no need just you have to execute first of all this is the first time job okay first time you you will be panic so here uh, you can see this command so you have to create first of all this one because it's a first time job after that you will be getting more idea about these things because it's already built and you can execute this command within a second so no need to worry about you have to type each and every word under the terminal okay try to understand what i'm saying right so once you've done these things so it's well and good and you can execute your command within a second so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please share like and comments for more updates and till then bye bye take care see ya